Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain Laplace transform. Laplace transform definition first I will tell you the basic important basic formula of Laplace transform I will give you and then few formulas of basic basic formulas of Laplace transform elementary function I will give you and after that we will do few problems. Let f of t be a function defined for all positive values of t. What is f of t? f of t is a function defined for all positive values of t. Then it is a function of t, positive values of t. Then Laplace transform of f of t is defined by L of f of t. Laplace transform of f of t is, de is denoted by L of f of t and is L of f of t or f bar of s. Both are same. This is equal to this. Now, the Laplace transform of f of t is denoted by capital L of f of t or this one. That means this is equal to this always. Remember and is defined as the basic important formula of Laplace transform. L of f of t is equal to f bar of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st f of t dt e to the power of minus st f of t dt is the basic formula of Laplace transform. If, you know, once again I will tell you f of t is a function of t for all positive values then the Laplace transform of f of t is denoted by L of f of t and is defined as L of f of t is equal to f bar of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st into f of t dt. This is very 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 important formula to do all the problem of Laplace transform we need to use this one. Now when we can write this formula provided this integral exists. If this integral exists then only the formula is correct where s is a parameter real and complex. Here s is a parameter real or complex. Therefore, now L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. If you send the L to this side, if you send the L to this side, f of t is equal to L inverse of f bar of s. This is equal to, this is equal to this formula. Now, if you send the L to this side, how much you will get? Therefore, f of t is equal to L inverse of f bar of s. Now, L inverse of f bar of s. In such case, f of t is said to be, now L inverse of f bar of s, f of t is called or is said to be inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s. In such type of cases, f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s. The symbol L, what is capital L? L which transform f of t into f bar of s. That's why Laplace transform, the symbol capital L which transform f of t into f bar of s. Now in terms of f of t functions and all it will become the all the functions will become in terms of t, t term uh, f bar of s. In terms of t functions will become uh, s term uh, in terms of s function. Now the symbol L which denote uh, which transform f of t into f bar of s can be called Laplace transform operator. Capital L is called what is this is transforming f of t into f bar of s. That's why it is called Laplace transform operator. The symbol L inverse. The symbol L inverse which transform f bar of s into f of t. Here L L with the symbol L transform f of t in terms of f, uh, f bar of s. Now here the symbol L inverse which transform f bar of s into f of t. Now here f of t can be called here L inverse is called inverse Laplace transform operator. Inverse Laplace transform operator capital L is called Laplace transform operator. Very very important formula you remember by heart this formula. Now, using this formula, we have to derive few things. What are these few things? I will tell you. Now, <coughs> Laplace transform of elementary function. 
Laplace transform of elementary function. Now a law of C. Before that, I'll give you few. I will show you few uh, formulas, and we will derive one by one. Now all these are the formulas. Now all the formulas are. A law of uh, in terms of t, L H S is in terms of t. Now R H S is in terms of f s. That means a law of uh, inside uh, of bracket is uh, f of t. F of t is a function of t for all positive values of t. I told you na. A law of uh, inside is uh, in terms of t. We are transforming these functions. Into f bar of s. R H S side is all functions are in terms of s. Uh, these are the basic, very much basic, important formulas. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven formulas are there. All the formulas we need to by heart. Without by hearting the formulas, you cannot do anything. Now L of one is equal to L of one is equal to one by s. L of t is equal to one by s square. L of t square is equal to two factorial by s cube. L of t cube is equal to three factorial by s to the power of four. L of t to the power of n is n factorial by s to the power of n plus one. L of e to the power of a t is equal to one by One by s minus a. A law of e to the power of minus a t is equal to one by s plus a. A law of sine a t is equal to a by s square plus a square. A law of cos a t is equal to s by s square plus a square. A law of sine h t a t is equal to a by s square minus a square. A law of cos h t a t is equal to s by s square minus a square. Here, rem remember one thing. For sine a t, cos a t, denominator you will get as s square plus a square. Sine a t, cos a t. Here sine for sine a by you will get for cos s by you will get. Denominator sir equal s square plus a square s square plus s square plus a square. For sine h a t, cos h a t, denominator sir equal s square minus a square s square minus a square. For the sine you will get a by for uh, cos you will get s by. Now. In the same way to the power of eighty one by s minus a. All these are the formulas. We have derivations for all these formulas. How we have got l of one is equal to one by s. How we have got l of t is equal to one by s square. How we have got all these formulas. Now I'll show you the first one. Now l of one is equal to l of one is equal to show that or prove that uh, prove that l of one is equal to One by s. To prove this one, l of one is equal to the basic formula. I will write l of f of t is equal to what is the formula? Integral zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t into f of t dt. Now here l of now in place of f of t, our function is one is there. Now this is the basic independent basic definition. I wrote the basic definition. In place of f of t, one is there. L of one is equal to integral zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t into our function is one dt. Now integral zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t dt. Now if you integrate, you will get a, a minus e to the power of minus s t by s. Now here, if you integrate, you will get like this, and then minus one by s if you write outside and. Upper limit minus lower limit. E to the power of infinity is always zero. E to the power of zero is one. Zero minus one is equal to minus uh, minus into minus plus one by s. Now, uh, if you integrate, you will get like this. Now, the second one is l of t is equal to one by s square. Again, here the function is l of t is equal to one by s square. Again, basic definition. L of f of t is equal to integral zero to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t dt. That is equal to L of t L of, uh, in place of f of t. How much is there? T is there. E to the power of minus s t into t dt. Now here I applied the formula integral by parts. F of x integral f of x g of x dx f of x. f of x integral g of x t is f of x f of x integral g of x dx minus integral f dash of x integral g of x dx whole dx f of x integral g of x 
dx minus integral f dash of x integral g, d, g of x dx whole dx that formula I applied now infinity to the whole we have to apply t 0 to infinity e to the power of minus st by minus s 0 to infinity again in the same way if you integrate you will get like this now by applying the upper limit minus lower limit you will get like this that is equal to and if you simplify that is equal to minus into minus will become plus 1 by s square you will get The next one is the first shifting theorem. The first shifting theorem is L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. L of f of t is equal to f bar of s. Then the first shifting theorem means before f of t if you multiply with e to the power of a t how much you will get. Before f of t if you multiply inside of the bracket inside of L before f of t e to the power of uh, a t if you multiply with e to the power of a t in the answer whatever you have got you will get wherever s is there in place of s s minus a you will get now before f of t inside the bracket if e to the power of minus a t is there wherever the answer is there in, in this answer s is equal to s plus a you will get by, by because e to the power of minus a t this is the first shifting theorem very very important this is also now using all the basic formulas whatever I have told you using all the basic formulas as well as first shifting theorem we will do few problems the first one is find L of t square plus 1 whole square if you expand this one L of t to the power of 4 plus 2 t square plus 1 if you split L of t to the power of 4 plus 2 L of t square plus L of 1 I am splitting into parts L of t to the power of 4 is equal to if you by heart all the formulas gun shortly you will get a, how much you will get a, t to the power of 4 is 4 factorial by s to the power of 5 plus 2 into L of t square is 2 factorial by s cube plus L of 1 is equal to 1 by s. Uh, 4 factorial is 24 by s to the power of 5 plus 2 to the 4 by s cube plus 1 by s. You can leave like this only. This is the first one. In the same way we will do second and third. After that first shifting theorem also I will explain. The second problem is find L of e to the power of minus a t minus 1 by a. Now to do this one 1 by a 1 by a is a constant constants we can write outside of Laplace transform wherever constants occurs L of e to the power of minus a t minus 1 that is equal to 1 by a into I am splitting into parts L of e to the power of minus a t minus L of 1 that is equal to 1 by a into e to the power of minus a t formula is 1 by s plus a minus l of 1 is equal to always 1 by s now lcm is s into s plus a s plus a s plus a get cancelled s minus s minus a minus into minus plus plus s minus s get cancelled now a a get cancelled how much will get minus 1 by s into s plus a this is the second one answer the third one is what is the third one l of sin 2t cos t now here we have to apply trigonometric formulas trigonometric formulas are 2 sin t cos t now in trigonometry there are so many formulas are there l of L of inside 2 sin t cos t formula is 1 by 2 sin of 2t plus t 3t plus sin of 2t minus t uh, 2t minus t is t like this you will get this formula just to recall this formula 1 by 2 into sin 3t plus a sin t instead of this one because uh, 2 sin a cos b is equal to we have one formula if you send to this side you will get like this now constants we can write outside 1 by 2 into l of 
I will split into parts L of sin 3t sin 3t plus L of sin t close the bracket 1 by 2 into L of sin 3t is equal to a by s square plus a square a how much is a here 3 by s square plus 9 plus uh, here 1 by s square plus 1 the formulas always remember without by hurting the formulas you cannot do anything sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square all the formulas now if you find the lcm that is equal to 1 by 2 into s square plus 9 into s square plus 1 s square plus 9 get cancelled 3 into s square plus 3 plus s square plus 1 get cancelled 9 that is equal to 1 by 2 into 3 s square plus s square is 4 s square plus 12 by s square plus 9 into s square plus 1 that is equal to taking common 2 and cancel the 2. Taking common 2 and cancel the 2. You will get a 2 into s square plus 3 by s square plus 9 into s square plus 1.